Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to scrap the product prices from Amazon.com website and import that into a Google spreadsheet using Google Apps Script. So that is what we are going to see in this video. Let's see how to do that. So first you need to open the script editor, go to tools and script editor. Just give any project name. Let's name this as Amazon Scrapper. So let's rename the function to something meaningful, maybe Scrapper. So we are going to scrap the prices, the product prices from Amazon using the URL fetch class. So let's see how to do that. Let me create a variable called get content. So we are going to get the HTML content of this particular page. And with the help of regular expression, we are going to parse the price which is shown here. So that's our approach. Let's see how to do that. So first we will go with URL fetch. So you are fetch app class contain a lot of a method. So we are going to use the first one fetch and you need to pass the URL that you want to scrap. Pass the URL here. So you don't need to pass these many long character. Basically you just need to give amazon.com slash dp slash the asin name. So asin is nothing but Amazon standard identification number for each product and this ascent is unique for each and every product on amazon.com so just ignore everything and make sure that it contain amazon.com slash dp slash followed by ascent and click on enter you can see the same page so just copy the URL and go here paste it here so once you do this, it will just fetch, but we need to retrieve the HTML content of that particular URL. So to get the HTML content, you need to use a method called get content text, which return the text, HTML text of this particular web page. Let's print that and see how it works. So you need to authorize for the very first time when you're running the script. So initially you will get the app isn't verified. I'm not sure why we are getting this message. Frequently we are getting this message. So click on the advance and click on go to Amazon Scrapper. Click on allow. So if you see here, the request was failed stating that request file truncated server response to discuss automated access to amazon data please contact api services hyphen support for information about migrating to something else so we are getting these error message asking us to contact them to get the product advertising api access so even if you use a product advertising api access amazon put a several restriction you can able to use the product advertising api only if you made enough sales through your affiliate otherwise they will block the product advertising api so we are not going to directly pass the url here so we are going to use a third party scrapper which help us to avoid these kind of message and gives the HTML in return. So that third party take care of fetching the HTML content for the given URL by handling proxies with a different IP address and it solves capture automatically. So that's why we rely on the third party API. So you need to register to this third party API and you need to get your free API key. So 
you can make 1000 api request per month for free of cost and if you want to upgrade your plan you can go ahead and upgrade but for this tutorial the free plan is more than sufficient so i'm going to use that third party api i have given a link in the youtube description maybe you can go ahead and find your unique api key and put that here so this is how the url will look like and this is completely from the third party api scrap on so we need to pass mainly two parameter one is your unique api key that you can get by logging into the website and the url that you want to scrap that's it you just need to pass the two parameter and once you are done click on the send so we are using a postman to see how the api work so once it works successfully in the postman we are going to implement that on the google sheet so you can see here it scrapped the HTML page for the given URL. So this is the HTML page and the size of the HTML page is 1.53, uh, sorry 43 and the status is 200. Okay, so the response is good. So I'm going to copy the AP key and put that AP key in the settings tab B1 and I'm going to get that through the script. So let's say where API key, I'm going to get that from the B1 cell of the settings tab. So use get active spreadsheet and get sheet by name, pass the name as settings. And you need to use a get range method that accept row and column it's in the first row and second column and get value take care of retrieving the value from that particular cell that's it now we can use this variable to replace our api key so just go ahead and copy the entire url create a new variable called url and paste the url and just replace this one with the ap key variable that we already created here so that's it and we are going to use the same url dot fetch method but instead of passing the url directly we are going to pass the url through the third party scrapper and let's see how it works whether it can able to fetch the html content or not so that's it it executed successfully let's see the logs yeah so it successfully retrieved the html content of the given url now just go here and copy this one so that you can able to copy the entire html content to your clipboard and go to regexr so where you can write your regular expression to retrieve the amazon product price so this is um, a scene that we have used and let's inspect and see where exactly on the html content this price has been located so it is located on an id price block underscore or price so just copy this one maybe you can do a right click and click on edit as html so just copy this one again getting timed out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the unwanted spaces and line breaks to do that go to text fixer it's a most popular tool and select a remove line break just paste the content and select the option remove line break and paragraph break click on remove line break so it make the data very short click on copy to clipboard and now go to rejects select everything and paste your new data okay so now we can able to successfully paste the content just copy this span id is equal to price block underscore r price and go here 
and paste it here so go to list where you can see something yeah we can able to find a match for the given text and we need to retrieve the price right so to retrieve the price put dot star which retrieve everything and we need to retrieve up to the span right so go here and put it again and this is not accepted by registry. you need to escape if you use a the forward slash to escape you need to use a backward slash and that's it yeah, it's saying that no result but of course if it shows the list for this character then obviously it should show the rest of the text here but because of uh, the content is too large it's not able to display the result here so let's go ahead and try that in the google app script itself by taking these regects so store this regex somewhere here let's name that as regex so when you put a regex you need to enclose the regex between the forward slash and you need to mention g which is for global and i for case sensitive for a gi so now it become a proper regex so now what you have to do is you need to match this regex with the html content so let's say price is equal to get content dot match against the regex so when you do a match against the regex you will get n number of matches but we are sure that we are going to get only one match so i'm going to use the index to find the very first match let's say price equal to price of index zero And just before executing the script, we can use a method trim, so which remove the unwanted excess lines and unwanted spaces and make the content really short so that this Google Apps script can parse the content quickly. So now execute and see how it works. So it executed successfully. Go to view and logs. And here you go. We can able to scrap the price block. That's it. Now what we are going to do is we just need this portion. So we need to remove this portion and this pan block. So to remove that you can use a dot replace and replace the unwanted characters with an empty string. So let me create a new variable. Let's name this as price equal to or I can use the same variable price and I just replace the unwanted block with null and I'm going to use the replace again so in this time So first we identify this character and replace it with a null string. Then we have to identify this character and replace it with null string so that we will get only the product price. So let's print that and see whether we are getting the exact product price or not. So the script ran successfully. In the log we exactly got product price that we want to scrap that's it we have scrapped the product price of the given async or for the given url now i have a list of async here so let's see how to scrap all the product price through the script all we need to do is just loop through from the row 2 to row 12 that's it so let's see how to do that and it's very simple you just need to include a for loop for iteration so we no need to do a hot code like 12 or something we can use a method get last row to find the last row of this particular sheet 
let's name this sheet as scrapper sheet and the name of the sheet is scrapper let's put that here instead of writing this we can just use a scrapper sheet let's create a variable called last row and we are going to find the last row of the scrapper sheet so get last row which will return the integer and the integer is a last row of the scrapper sheet and we just need to create a for loop starting from i is equal to 2 because the first row is a header we need to ignore that and i lesser than or equal to last row and i plus plus that's it and this block of code should go inside the for loop Right, and here we need to replace the hot coded async with the async we get from the Google Sheet. So during each iteration, the async will vary, and we need to pass the respective async to this for loop. So just put a plus followed by scrapper sheet dot get a range and a row should keep on change during each iteration so we can replace the row with i and the column is one dot get value that's it so which return the value of the respective cell during each iteration So now we need to put the price on the column B, right? So use the same object after we get the price, scrap a sheet dot get range and use the iteration variable I and we need to update it on the column two because we are getting the ascent from the column one. And instead of get value, you are going to set the value so we use the method set value and in the value you are going to set the price of the ascent that you are going to get during each iteration so let's execute and see whether it fetching the price of all ascent or not so basically it will take a few seconds to fetch the price for each ascent so if you see here for this async it got failed stating that cannot read property zero from null because it's not able to match the rejects let's go to that and see why it got failed so if you see the HTML content you can see that it's not price block underscore our price it's price block underscore sale price and that's why the script got failed so you need to add this additional case in case if the match is zero so that's what you want to consider and also you need to check whether the price is present first of all if the price is present you have to identify uh, the list of HTML block where the price get displayed in the Amazon and you have to find the rejects for all those blocks and put that in your Google Apps script so that first it will go and check in this block and it's not able to find then it will go and check in the next block and if the match exists it will go and populate the price on the Google sheet basically the block will be not more than three to four so you just need to identify and put that here and that's it your amazon price scrapper is ready let me know if you have any doubts and uh, you can find uh, the source code of uh, this script the third party scrapper documentation url in the description if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you